Today, you'll learn how you can generate content for Pinterest on ChatGPT with the help of prompt templates from Keywords Everywhere. So let's get started. Okay, so to get access to the Pinterest prompts, you need to install the Keywords Everywhere browser add-on. Okay, so go to keywordseverywhere.com and you can install this add-on for either Chrome or for Firefox. Okay, so once you have this installed, log in to your OpenAI account. Now with your Keywords Everywhere extension installed and turned on, you'll notice a couple of new things in your ChatGPT dashboard. The first thing is this templates button on the left-hand side. And the second thing is this continue button on the top right hand corner. Now to get access to the Pinterest prompts, we need to click on this templates button and this will open up the ChatGPT prompt templates widget. We need to go to the category dropdown and click on social media. And for the subcategory dropdown, we are going to click on Pinterest. And these are all of the Pinterest templates that we can use. Let's click on the first one, Keywords for Pinterest. Now this prompt template will help you generate SEO optimized keywords for your Pinterest posts. So your posts have a higher chance of being found on the platform. Okay, so you can see that this widget expands for us to add additional information. You can choose from all of these different languages. I'm gonna leave it as English. And we need to put our topic. So this is the topic that we want our Pinterest keywords for. So let's just say we have a profile around succulent plants. Okay, so that's gonna be our topic. And we can tell it how many keywords we want generated. So let's just say we want 20 keywords. Now this is our prompt template. The information that we've added up here automatically gets added Added to this template. So it says here, please respond only in the English language, right? And we added that here. And then it says, provide me with 20 high-performing SEO keywords to use for Pinterest for the following topic, succulent plants. Now you can edit the text in this template if you wish, but this has been tested and created to generate some really good keywords for your Pinterest posts. So I'm not going to edit this template whatsoever. I'm just gonna click on execute template. Okay, so here we go. Within a few seconds, ChatGPT provided us with 20 keywords that we can use for our Pinterest posts. And they are all very relevant to our topic of succulent plants. The first one says succulent care tips. The second one says indoor succulents and then succulent propagation, so on and so forth. So now that you have these keywords, you can then optimize your Pinterest posts. That way you have the opportunity to rank higher and be found by more people. Okay, so let's go to the next Pinterest template. So we are going to click on this templates button and under the templates dropdown, we are going to click on generate pin titles. Now this prompt template will generate a list of titles that we can use for our pins. We can choose from these different languages. I'm gonna leave it as English. And you can also choose from a variety of voice tones as well. I'm gonna click on cheerful and you can choose from a list of writing styles. I'm gonna click on creative and now we need to give it a topic. So let's take a look at the list of keywords here just for some inspiration. Let's put down a topic around succulent care tips. So my topic could be how to care for succulents. Okay, so that is our topic and we can tell it how many titles we want it to generate. So let's put 10 right there. And this is our prompt template. Again, all the information that we added up here automatically gets added to this template. And you can edit the text of this template if you wish, but I'm gonna leave it as is and click on execute template. Okay, so ChatGPT generated 10 pin titles for the topic, how to care for succulents. And I think these are written very nicely. So the first one says, Turn Your Thumb Green, The Ultimate Guide to Succulent Care and Love. That one's pretty good. And the second one says, Breathe Life into Your Succulents, Care Tips You Can't Ignore. That one's also a good one. And these are the rest of the titles. So now all you need to do is just choose the best one you want to use for your pin title. Okay, so let's go to the next Pinterest template. So we are going to click on the Templates button. And for the Templates dropdown, we will click on Generate Pin Descriptions. And you can choose from different languages. You can also choose from different voice tones and also a list of writing styles. Now we need to add our topic. So let's follow the same topic we use to generate the titles. So let's put down How to Care for Succulents. And you can also choose how many descriptions you want it to generate. So I'm gonna leave it as three. And lastly, we can give it a list of keywords that we want to be included in the pin descriptions. So let's take a look at the keywords it generated earlier. 
So let's do uh, rare succulents and also let's put down mini succulents. Okay, so this is our prompt template. Now let's click on execute template. Okay, so here we go. It generated three pin descriptions for us following the topic, how to care for succulents. And it also followed the keywords we provided, rare succulents and mini succulents. So this is the first description. It says, welcome to the world of green joy. Unleash the secrets to perfect succulent care. Learn how to keep your mini succulents flourishing with our comprehensive guide. So this is one of our keywords. And then it also says, dive into the intriguing realm of rare succulents. And then that's our second keyword as well. And then this one is the next description and then the last description. So now you can choose from these three options for your pins. Now I wanted to touch on this continue button on the top right hand corner. Now, if you hover over this, you have a list of actions that you can tell ChatGPT to do after it generated the last response. Okay, so you can tell ChatGPT to continue where it left off, to clarify the response, exemplify it, expand it, explain, rewrite, shorten it, or even tweetify the response. So let's just say, for example, we want shorter descriptions. So just click on shorten. Okay, so here we go. ChatGPT shortened these three descriptions and now they look like this. So much more direct and to the point. So this continue button is very helpful to tell ChatGPT to do additional things with the response it just generated. Okay, so let's go to the next Pinterest prompt. Let's click on this templates button. And for the templates dropdown, we're going to click on Pinterest hashtag generator. Now this template will generate a list of hashtags for us. So you can choose from different languages again, a list of different voice tones and also different writing styles. Now we need to give it our content or topic. So let's take a look at the descriptions it generated earlier. So I really like this first description. So I'm going to copy this and paste it right here. So we have our content and we can tell it how many hashtags we want it to generate. So I'm going to leave it as 10 and this is our prompt template. Now I'm going to click on execute template. Okay, so now we have a list of 10 hashtag options for our description right here. Okay, so let's take a look at them. The first one says green joy. The second one says succulent secrets. And then mini succulents, flourishing flora, rare succulents, plant balance, and so on. So I think all of these hashtags are very relevant for our description. Okay, so let's go to the next template. So let's click on this templates button. And for the templates drop down, we will click on Pinterest pin calendar. Now I really like this template because it will generate a content calendar for the next few months. You can choose from different languages, different voice tones, and also different writing styles. And for the topic, let's put down indoor succulent plants, succulent plants. And we can tell it how many pins per week we want it to generate. So let's put three pins per week and how many months we want it to generate for. So let's keep it as three months. And this is our prompt template. Now I'm going to click on execute template. Okay, so within a few seconds, we have three months worth of pin ideas for the topic indoor succulent plants. And ChatGPT organized the ideas in these really nice tables. So let's take a look at the first month. You can see the table has the first column of the date. And the next column is the Pinterest pin idea. And then it also provided us with a couple of hashtags per idea. So let's take a look at the first pin idea. So it says top five indoor succulents for new plant parents. And it recommended these two hashtags, indoor succulents and plant beginners. And the second pin idea says demystifying, repotting, how and when to repot your indoor succulents. And a couple of hashtags, succulent care and plant love. And these are the other ideas for the first month. And then this is the second month and the third month. So what you can do with this content calendar is plan out and create your pins for the next three months following these ideas. So I think this template makes our planning and content creation so much easier and quicker than before. Okay, so those are the Pinterest prompt templates from Keywords Everywhere I wanted to show you today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you wanna check out our other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.